Hi my beautiful Taurus and welcome to my channel. This is going to be your June the 25th until the 30th. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter. So for June I'll be doing a giveaway and this will be the last um, the last week that you guys can enter for the free reading. So if you're interested in the free reading all you have to do is you can either subscribe to my channel or in the description box below you'll see a link to my Instagram or a link to my Facebook and you can follow me on either one of those to be entered in the giveaway. Uh, this is also the last week for the $10 question, so if you have a question, it will be $10, just um, this is the last week for that, so if you do want it, um, just make sure you get it to me before the 30th, and everything else you need to know for personal readings will be down below for you guys, alright? So I'm going to just jump in with your tarot, and then I'm going to pull some oracle cards for you guys. Alright, my beautiful Taurus, what can we get for you guys? I won't be able to show the cards this time, I am using the sexual magic tarot right now but um if i clarify i'll be able to show you guys those ones some of them i can show you but pretty much all of them they're naked in and i'm not sure what kind of strikes you people give me for that all right so let's see Taurus, show me what Taurus needs to see for this week ahead in love. Ace of Swords. Spicy. The Wheel. Okay, so we have the Ace of Swords, the Fool, the Wheel of Fortune. I love these cards. I really wish I could show them. All right, so I definitely sense here that you know the person that you're dealing with is going to be having clarity. Um, they're going to have clarity on the fact that you are the one for them. We have, we have the lovers, you know, followed by the sun here. Um, the person that you're dealing with is finally about to get clarity on, you know, their feelings for you. If this is a situation that's been going on for a long time, especially if this is somebody that's been very in and out of your life, they're finally going to get the clarity that they need to be able to take a leap of faith with you. This leap of faith could, you know, this leap of faith is literally, you know, right beside it's like they get clarity they you know they begin a journey with you and then the wheel of fortune so it's like things are really going to take there's a huge change within you and your partner i definitely see if you are in a commitment things are going to be taken to the next level or if you are you know this is your person getting clarity that you're the one getting clarity to take a complete leap of faith with you this is you know your destiny this is fated for you you know fated for you and your partner if this is somebody that you've been you know separated from i definitely see that the clarity that they're going to be having is clarity towards you know coming back to you so if there's somebody that you feel is your soulmate they're coming back to you this week for others of you that are already in a commitment, I see things moving to the next level. And it's like, I feel like your person, if this is something that you've wanted for a while, but your person's been holding back, or you just haven't even, you know, felt comfortable to have a conversation with that because you were unsure of how they would feel. I definitely see that they're the ones that are going to end up bringing it up um, and taking a leap. It's like, they're going to go from somebody that was very, very maybe slow moving and just kind of slow pace, or this could even be you. To finally, you know, taking a leap of faith and really just trusting that whatever happens, happens. And this is really because I feel like they're falling in love. If this is somebody you've been with for a while, it's like they're falling in love with you all over again. And that's going to help them to realize that you're the one for them. It's not that they didn't think that before. It's that, you know, they, things are just so good. They weren't really thinking too much. And I feel like this, you know, clarity and them falling in love with you all over again is really going to hit them. And it's really going to hit them on the emotional side to be like, oh my gosh, like this is the one that I want to spend the rest of my life with. And it's really a big moment, to be honest. Um, you're going to see a huge drastic change within, you know, your relationship and it's all going to be for the best and you're just going to kind of, I feel like you're going to be in shock and you may be a little bit dazed because this is really something big that's going to happen between the two of you guys. Um, I feel like there's going to be a lot of passion happening between the two of you guys. It's like if this person, I really am sensing an engagement. So if this is an engagement, it's almost as if wherever they propose to you, you know, you guys are going to have sex 
in wherever that is like it's almost like passion is gonna run so high and I feel like you guys are just gonna be in that honeymoon phase you know all over again or if this is somebody coming back whatever your situation is even if you're single and this is somebody coming in it's like you're not going to be afraid even if you've been hurt before or even if they have you're just going to know that it's right and just go for it and um it's like that energy where it's like you don't care where you are you just want each other all the time and it's so passionate and like i'm getting so hot just thinking about it but it's beautiful energy it's like you don't care you don't care if there's other people around you literally it will just be the two of you guys even when you talk you get so worked up in each other that you guys have like the deepest conversations in places that you know maybe certain conversations shouldn't be said you know like i can just sense like a waitress walking by and then you guys are just like laughing because you probably shouldn't have said what you said but you're just so caught up in each other and so caught up and it's like the eyes like their eyes it's like when you look in their eyes they get locked and when you look in their or sorry when you look in each other's eyes you're just locked within each other's eyes and eye contact is so sexy for the two of you guys it's like it turns you guys on it's so crazy um so you, when you guys talk you just look at each other's eyes lock eyes and you could just talk for hours and it doesn't matter where you are if you're eating you forget about your food it's like you're just so wrapped in them and they're the same, which is really good. It's really actually amazing. With the lovers here, I definitely see here, like this is a connection that is very, very strong. This is the, you know, the Cupid's arrow is in this lover's card. And it's like, it's almost as if your person is going to feel so dazed. You know, your person doesn't notice other people. Your person only notices you. I feel like if you guys have already been intimate together, I definitely sense that you've, you know, shown them things that they didn't, you know, think about before. And you're, you know, not to say that you're the one that is more, you know, spicy and spices things up, but it's like you're so, you know, comfortable with who you are that it just turns them on so much. It's like they don't feel like they need to hold back. They feel like they can fully open themselves up sexually with you. And I feel like that is something that, you know, they absolutely love, they absolutely admire that you are just so sexy but you're also so confident and confident when you're completely nude which is like a huge turn on and I feel like you know in a way it's like you've almost turned on yourself like I don't even know how like I just feel like you're just so confident that like I don't even know I don't know I've never felt this energy before but it's really it's nice it's um it's amazing to feel that wow but yeah, um, definitely, you know, Cupid's arrow, he got hit by, he or she got hit by the Cupid's arrow, and it's like, this is something with the Wheel of Fortune as well, this is something that was fated, this is something that was destined to happen between the two of you guys, and with the Sun card here, this is a love that is illuminated, you know, people, when you guys are together, people look at you guys, people can sense the love between you guys, you may have even, you know, gotten to the point where people will come up and compliment you, and it could be something so weird, like it doesn't have to be like, oh, you guys are a cute couple or you guys are, you guys look really good together. It could be like just something so strange. Like it's almost like where people are so close that they start to look like each other. And I feel like that is, you know, where you're getting to in this relationship. It's actually crazy. It's actually really intense. Um, lots of passion, you know, even though this could be something new for a lot of you, there definitely is um an energy of this being something that will last a long time there is an energy that you know the universe is on your side this is something that is destined for you this is something that is aligned with your life path and you know the two of each other the two of you will make each other happy the two of you will put passion before anything it doesn't matter it's almost that energy as well as if you guys do get into an argument which i don't sense any arguments right now but if you guys ever were to get into an argument you would be the type, you would be the couple that would resolve that argument in the bedroom. It's like the bedroom is the one thing. It doesn't matter what happens between the two of you guys that will always be on point with you guys. And um, that's really just how you release everything. And then after that, you guys can really talk in a more calm way instead of just fighting for days and then like, you know, figuring it out in such a petty way. It's like, you guys don't do that. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to pull some Oracle cards for you guys. So we have show the world the real you and don't let pride get in the way. 
So we have uh, Show the World the Real You, which is Full Moon in Aquarius, and Don't Let Pride Get in Your Way, which is Full Moon in Leo. We have Chemistry. There's a magnetic attraction here. Definitely felt that right away. Strong, strong ass connection. <sighs> and then um, Calling in Your Soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations helping you guys together. So since I can show you guys these ones, I will. So you could be dealing with a Leo, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. I have Sagittarius, I have Aquarius again, and I have Leo again, I have a Gemini. You know, don't get too caught up in the signs. I really do have all the elements here. It's really, if this resonates, if this feels right, then it resonates. Um, don't forget also to check your sun, moon, rising, and uh, Venus for the women. And, or sorry, if you're a woman, if you're looking, if you're in love or in a rom uh, romantic connection with a woman, check her Venus sign. And if you are with a man, check their Jupiter sign to get more information on um, your situation. Because I find when I put them all together, it really, you know, makes so much more sense to me. And uh, yeah, so that's, you know, I only have a couple readers that I'm interested in, but that's because I like to watch all four of my, um, like my rising, my, I watch my rising, my rising, my Venus and my Jupiter and my sun are all the same, but then my moon is different. And then I also follow Vedic and Western. So there are a couple different, a couple different ones that I do watch, but I just find that if I, you know, only have my, you know, couple readers that I watch, I can get all those done and make more sense of my situation than trying to like figure it out through whatever you, whatever I see on the scroll through YouTube. But anyways, that's enough about me. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you do, and you would like a personal based on only your energy, my information is down below. And Taurus, I just want to thank you guys. Last week, you guys literally had the most personal readings that I have ever gotten. And it was so amazing because like Taurus is my opposite sign. And I had, you know, my longest relationship was with a Taurus. So like I know Taurus like inside and out. So it was so cool to just hear your guys' stories and to just, you know, resonate with you one-on-one, -on -one, especially those of you who I did lives with. It was really nice to connect with you guys. So um, I just wanted to say an extra special thank you guys. I love you so much. And yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Bye, my loves.